I don't know guys, I have the feeling Gears 5 is not getting the attention what it deserves because in my opinion we have an absolute masterpiece here on the Xbox series and of course on the PC. And right now I'm not even talking about the HDR implementation, I'm just talking about gameplay and yeah, what I mean is, is it's not just gameplay, I mean gameplay is the most important part of a game and in regards of gameplay Gears 5 is just absolutely fantastic. The controls for this game are very easy to learn and I had never any issues to control my character actually and by the way I'm using the Elite 1 controller and yeah after testing this game for several hours and playing this game for several hours I really considering maybe upgrading the Elite 1 to the Elite 2 but I'm, I'm not quite sure about that. Anyway this video is not about controllers this video is about HDR but before we move on to HDR let's talk about the visual quality in this game and keep in mind all the footage what you're going to see is from the Xbox Series X version. And all the recordings from my Xbox Series X was done with the 60 FPS performance mode. No OLED TV was harmed with 30 FPS. The visual quality in this game is just absolutely mind blowing, amazing, unbelievable and just keep in mind we are talking about the Xbox Series X version here with the 60 FPS performance mode. And this game was already released in 2020, I think November 2020 if I'm not wrong and this shows actually what the Xbox Series X is capable of because this game is now almost four years old and yeah okay three and a half years something like that but you get my point this is not a brand new game and we're talking about one of the best looking games on the Xbox consoles till today. The only thing what I have to yeah maybe complain about the 60 FPS performance mode is that if you don't have a VRR capable screen you will experience some very minor stutters from time to time but again that's not a deal breaker at all I would strongly recommend to stick to the 60 FPS performance mode because playing a game like that with 30 FPS sorry to say that but but then you're doing something wrong. But I think that's enough about the picture quality, let's talk about sound before we now moving on to HDR and in regards of sound I just hope that you have a proper sound system because otherwise you would Shit. miss out Sire. a lot. DB, take it out. And if you're someone who is just using the speakers from your TV to listen to music, watching movies or playing games, then believe me, it is time for an upgrade. And if you can't put a proper surround system or Dolby Atmos system in your room, then at least you should think about a proper headset because the sound improvement, the advantage from a headset over simple TV speakers is just like day and night. And now let's talk about HDR. Let's talk about HDR and Dolby Vision because we're talking about the Xbox series and that means we can play this game if we like to in Dolby Vision Gaming. But keep in mind, this game does not support Dolby Vision Gaming natively. It's just compatible to Dolby Vision because there's still just one single game on the Xbox series which supports Dolby Vision natively and that's Halo Infinite. And as always, let's start with the most important thing first. Does Gears 5 support the HDR system level calibration on the Xbox and PC? And the clear answer is no, it does not. So regardless of what you set up in the HDR menu on the PC or Xbox, it will be not recognized by the game. So let's take a closer look on the HDR settings what we have in Gears 5. And the first setting is called contrast, then we have brightness and then we have a setting called HDR brightness. So let's talk about the contrast setting first and what I found after testing that this setting is not affecting the maximum peak brightness in specular highlights. So even you set contrast to zero or to 100, the maximum peak brightness in specular highlights is always the same. But what is affected by the contrast setting is the HDR black level floor. 
decreasing this setting from the standard factory setting 50 to let's say 40 or 30 will lift up the HDR black level floor. Increasing this setting to let's say 60 or 70 can give you a little bit of a better HDR black level floor but it comes with a cost because now you have very slight HDR black level crush and also I found the overall picture now a little bit too dark. And therefore my recommendation is that if you can just don't touch contrast, leave it at 50 because I found that's actually a very good compromise. If you still have the feeling that the yeah, picture looks a little bit too washed out or washed out at some point, then just increase this setting slightly. So let's move on to the brightness setting, which is the paper white setting in Gears 5. And what I found is that even you use the setting with your yeah, set to 100 or set to 300, the maximum peak brightness in specular highlights is always the same. And this is exactly what we like to see. So my recommendation is a brightness setting between 150 and 200. But as always, it really depends on your environment if you play in a very bright room or a very dark room. And of course, what tone mapping format you're using on your TV. And last but not least, we have the HDR brightness setting, which is responsible for the maximum peak brightness and specular highlights and the only problem if we can call this a problem actually so what i found with this setting is that it is actually always slightly under tracking the real value so let's say you set this to 1000 for the lg g2 the maximum peak brightness is not 1000. So I had to set this to 1100 to have actually an output of around 980 nits for the LG G2. But no worries at all, I will provide you with a small table a little bit later on where you can see what the HDR brightness setting is really doing in the game. Right now I like to talk about the HDR black level floor, which unfortunately is not perfect. But please do not panic because we are not talking about Starfield here, we're talking about Gears 5 and even we have not a perfect HDR black level floor. The HDR black level floor is still great and yeah, you can actually make it a little bit better if you increase the contrast setting. But again, keep in mind that with increasing the contrast, you have some sort of HDR black level crush and I found just the, the picture a little bit too dark then. So again, HDR black level floor is not perfect, but almost and therefore, yeah, no complaints. So let's just quickly talk about the HDR color space. And yeah, as in many other games, Gears 5 is not using it a lot. Just in the very beginning of the Hive Buster campaign, I found actually a lot of DCI-P3 color space in use, but most of the time SDR color space. But believe me, the game looks absolutely stunning. So what is now my recommendation in regards of HGIG versus dynamic tone mapping on and Dolby Vision on the Xbox Series X? And yeah, very quick answer, use HGIG or Dolby Vision if you like to. So again, keep in mind, there's no native Dolby Vision support in this game. That means if you use Dolby Vision and you see a difference in regards of the picture quality, this is not because of Dolby Vision. This is because of the picture settings in Dolby Vision or maybe your TV is doing something better what you like better. So again, keep in mind, no native Dolby Vision support, but if you like Dolby Vision, just go for it. Dynamic tone mapping on, on the other hand, is not to recommend, at least that's my experience on the LG ZX or the LG G2, because dynamic tone mapping on in this game is the, yeah, is over in the picture just way too much, especially when you have a very dark scenario. It is just over in the picture, it's washing out the picture. And when we're now talking about specular highlights, most of the specular highlights when you use dynamic tone mapping on are very washed out, overblown. You can't see any details anymore. So again, do not use dynamic tone mapping on if you don't have to. So let's have a look on this table, what I made for you to actually see or show you actually what the HDR brightness setting is really doing. And the maximum setting from the HDR brightness setting is actually 4000, but what I found is the game never outputs close to 4000, at least not what I found during my testing. So maybe there is a level 
or some sort of specular highlights later on. But this is what I found so far. So the maximum peak brightness output in this game is roughly around 3500 nits, which of course is right now more than enough for most of the TVs. And what I mentioned already is that the HDR brightness setting is slightly under tracking the real output in maximum peak brightness. That means if you have now an LG ZX with a maximum peak brightness of around 700, 800 nits, then I would set the HDR brightness setting to 900 to make sure you have the full capacity used on your TV. And for the LG G2 on the other hand, I would recommend to set this setting to 1100 because again, I found if you set it to 1000, which is the maximum peak brightness of the LG G2, it will not utilize the G2 to the absolute maximum. So you can see where I'm going to. You always need a little bit of, yeah, let's say higher HDR brightness setting compared to the maximum peak brightness capability of your screen, monitor or TV. And because I don't have an LG G3 or G4 right now, I can't make any proper recommendation for those TVs. The only thing what I can tell you is that again, setting it to 1500 gives you less than 1500 nits. So keep this in mind. For the S95C on the other hand, and I played most of the time Gears 5 on my S95C because this is just an absolute stunning HDR gaming TV, I would recommend to set the HDR brightness to 1800. And yes, I know the S95C has not 1800 nits maximum peak brightness, but because the S95C is always tone mapping in the background. Even you set the HDR tone mapping option to static. I found 1800 is a really good value to see very nice specular highlights and very bright specular highlights. Okay, my friends, so that's it. And I hope I did not miss anything because I haven't had any script when I started recording this video actually because I just had no time. I just returned from my business trip which was absolutely fantastic but I was so looking forward to do this video because I like to share with you actually how great Gears 5 is looking in HDR. So again, it would be an absolute waste if you have a proper HDR screen monitor TV and you just play this game in SDR. Forget about the HDR black level floor because even we have a not perfect HDR black level floor, it is still on an absolute great level. And I promise you, even you play in a complete dark room, it is no problem at all. And therefore, the only thing what you should be worried about in this game is running out of munition because that's a big problem then. But on the other hand, just enjoy this great game. And if you don't mind, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.